so Netflix has finally dropped the trailer, the teaser for the Tomb Raider anime. Okay, voiced by, by Haley Atwell. Now, the Haley Atwell part is exciting, but the actual trailer... All right, so let's just go ahead and, and dive in. So there you have my opinions. Pretty underwhelming, I think, especially given the fact that people are ready to see Lara Croft be Lara Croft again, not this reboot crap. And uh, while her face actually looks good, they gave her the full lips. I am shocked. Shocked. <laughs> So she actually does have some characteristic features that Lara Croft should have. Uh, so I like that much, but that unfortunately just seems to be the only redeeming thing, that and Haley Atwell's voice. But as you can see here from these snippets, you got the, oh, my friends, my friends, which I was complaining about in my reaction thing. That's the thing is that this is not Lara Croft. Lara Croft is supposed to be a loner. This is all, all of this friendship adventure stuff was a retcon in the reboot franchise and they've just made that her entire identity. And unfortunately, it's just too much of a pull away from Tomb Raider and what the foundation of Lara Croft as a character actually is. Um, we were told with the Netflix anime that this would be a unification process. And this is not a unified Lara Croft. The reception is not that great right now, even from people who have been foaming at the mouth and obsessed with some of the recent stuff that I haven't liked as much or that I haven't wanted to see. Even they are disappointed with this because this is not a unified Lara Croft. This is reboot Lara but, oh, she's going to become the Tomb Raider again. This time, it's actually going to happen. So it's another reboot journey of, oh, here she goes. This is going to be her defining moment. How many times have we been told that she's going to become the Tomb Raider and have her defining moment in the past decade? It's taken 10 years. We have been waiting 10 years, right? You know, with the initial reboot, it was fun. It was exciting. It was like, oh, okay. You think that by the next game, she's actually going to be Lara Croft. No, no, wait a minute. We got to get through a trilogy first. Then she'll be Lara Croft. Well, here we are. And she still is not Lara Croft. So here we have from Core Design, uh, the uh, fan, you know, Core Design is the original developers of Tomb Raider. And this is run by a fan of classic Lara. She's great. She, I definitely suggest if you are a Tomb Raider fan to follow her account. Um, she says here, okay, I'm slightly disappointed. I am... You know, I'm more than slightly disappointed personally. So we have Rhino here who says family drama, forced, sad, slash determined facial expressions and focus on bow and axe. Hard pass. That's a lot how I feel. Karina here says more than slightly disappointed here, lol. I will watch it, of course. But the split second cut in duels in the earlier teaser made me hope for unified Lara. Well, the duels were for Devil May Cry. And a lot of people thought that that would be for Tomb Raider. So that did not work in Tomb Raider's favor, having the Devil May Cry dual pistols there. Um, so we do have someone excited here who says the art style looks amazing, which I do give credit. The art style does look good. Lyra Croft looks better than what I would have anticipated for this. Um, and I think people need to stop making judgments. They say, no, dude, I'm, I'm sick of hearing this. Don't make judgments. Oh no, don't make judgments till you see more. Dude, we've seen enough to make judgments. Fans are allowed to make judgments. This whole toxic positivity thing, that is a no-go. That's a way of saying, I like this. And if you don't like this, then it threatens my identity. And therefore you have to shut up, which I'm not about that. Um, so we have Isaac Harris who says this image represents everything wrong with Lara's character for the last decade and a half. And I completely agree. Lara Croft, the foundation of classic Lara Croft was that she was a loner and she was obsessed with the thrill of adventure, right? Even at a young age. So people say, oh, well, this is when she was young. This is when she was young. Dude, we've seen Lara Croft when she was young in the classic games. We've seen her as young as 16 years old. She's always been obsessed with the adventure element. Uh, so this, um, it's not a valid excuse. And if they did make it an excuse, well, dude, fix it. It's boring. It is boring. I'm sick of it. This is just all these friends. They're dead weight. That's what they are. They're dead weight. They're detracting from Lara Croft as a character over it. I do like that they gave her a tan though. Cause Lara Croft isn't supposed to be pasty. Like she looks in the, the rebooted games. Okay. Or, or an angel of darkness. 
or an angel of darkness, but that was just, you know, they wanted her to look emo. All right, so Jay Biscuit here says, same, I'll be really disappointed if we don't see Bigfoot, Spear of Destiny, Philosopher's Stone, or Larson and Pierre. Those events were supposed to take place before Tomb Raider 1, I believe. Lara stealing the iris, I thought was two, but could be taking place between one and two or two and three. See, because this was, we were told this was going to be that bridge between reboot Lara and classic Lara. Um, but again, this just seems to be a complete reboot adventure. It doesn't seem like this is actually bridging the gap. They don't care about classic Tomb Raider. Uh, and that has been very evident. And some will argue and say, well, what about the remasters? That is not an initiative on Crystal Dynamics part. That is Embracer. Okay. That is Embracer working with Aspire, a totally different studio. Because trust me, if it was up to Crystal Dynamics, we would not have gotten those. Okay. Um, we have Cubsy here who says, I am disappointed. I may be complaining too much, but the title sounds very generic and looks like they are re-exploring Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I am, in my opinion, I'd rather wait for the remasters. That is exactly how I feel. We have Corey here who typically loves just about everything that the current Tomb Raider stuff has dropped and even he is underwhelmed by all this. Uh, Dathan here says, that's it, waited over an hour. I'm not surprised it's like this because it's just an announcement trailer, Wes says, and they're usually very surface level. Anyway, dude, it doesn't matter. This is still not unified Lara Croft. This is still... <laughs> this, is how mo this is how most of the fandom feels right now. This is us right now, uh, actually expecting something more. Uh, you know, we expect more and my, my hopes were low, but it's still, while we expect more, we are still given less. Oh dude, it glitched on me on this part there. So there she is rising in the flames. Dude, this is very shadow of the tomb raider right there. Uh, you know, it is very underwhelming, very underwhelming. All right. So then we have Corey here who says, I mean, she looks fierce, not going to lie, but I was really hoping to see a unified Lara. I guess she will become a unified Lara by the end of the show as it's set between Shadow and Tomb Raider 1, but not even a release date. And she looks just like Tomb Raider 2013 Lara. I do like her face. I think it is a blend of reboot and classic Lara. The lips especially give me the classic Lara vibes. So I will give them credit there. Here we have their announcement. Um, there was one tweet here I liked. One reply. Crap, I can't find it right now. I wish I could so I can credit the person. Hold on, I can find it if I go into my likes. Uh, I feel like they said it perfectly here we go lettuce here says can we have something else that isn't reboot lara becoming the tomb raider for realsies this time fourth time in a row i swear we are constantly having that dangled in front of us oh for real she's gonna become the tomb raider now for real okay this is what the fans really want and it took it took aspire to make it okay this is what the fans really want Classic Lara Croft. This is what I am excited for. Finally, we were given some food and we're going to eat good. When I see this, it, especially after seeing that Netflix thing again and then seeing this, it's like, ah, breath of fresh air. This is Tomb Raider, an adventure. Oh, but it's her origin. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it about origin crap. We've been doing this origin crap for over a decade. Done. Over it. We've had in Tomb Raider Last Revelation, we saw a 16-year-old Lara Croft with her mentor, Werner Von Croy. We saw that. And she still didn't have this helpless, relatable, oh, girl next door crying all the time arc. Didn't need it. This is what Tomb Raider is supposed to be. An adventure. A beautiful Lara Croft doing awesome things. Taking out dinosaurs. Statues come to life. Solving puzzles. Grand adventures. Everything is larger than life. This is Tomb Raider. And this just makes the what we just saw with Netflix look even more boring. So save your energy for that. I was just telling my stream earlier that before the remasters come out, when I stream them, 
I think I want to do a giveaway where I give away like five or 10 copies that I'll just buy and give them away. I want to see this succeed. I really do because I want more. I want more of this. I want Tomb Raider to be Tomb Raider again. And you know, it's one thing to still like the rebooted stuff for what it is, but it isn't Tomb Raider. Let's be real. And if it's going to completely take the identity of Tomb Raider, I don't want it. If the rebooted series was its own IP, its own franchise, then hey, I would be a fan of it because I actually liked the games. But because of the fact that it's replacing Tomb Raider and it's not becoming Tomb Raider... I don't want any part of it. It's changed the identity of Lara Croft, changed her appearance too much. Um, while the Netflix thing is closer, it's still not there. Um, you know, changed her backstory, her interests, her motivations, her personality, doing the whole friendship adventure thing. Not it. Lara Croft was always a loner, a very introverted loner. This wasn't about friends, BFFs, and crap like that. So... I am just over everything that we are getting from Crystal Dynamics part right now. I just am. And so I'm really hoping and praying that the remasters are successful enough to where Embracer can say, wait a minute, let's get things in the right direction here. And whether or not that be with Crystal Dynamics, hey, in a perfect world, Crystal Dynamics can just get their act together and actually make stuff that the fans want to see. But, uh, you know, if they don't, then Embracer can always give Tomb Raider to another studio. I don't want to see people out of jobs. Like I just mentioned in the other video that some layoffs occurred with Crystal Dynamics. Don't like to see that and don't want to hate on everybody working there because a lot of them are fans of the classic stuff, but they don't unfortunately get that much of a say. So this is just where things have been with the Tomb Raider community. People are tired. People want to see Tomb Raider be Tomb Raider again. And that's just not what has been happening with anything apart from these remasters that we are so freaking lucky that we got in the first place. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Don't forget to read your Bibles and if you want to hear me read the Bible to you, you can check out my new channel, Bible Time with Melanie Mac. We're closing in on 10,000 subscribers already, and I'm really excited about it. So I would love to see you there. Thank you again for watching. I'll catch you next time. And in the meantime, go boom.